Welcome back, Toy Collector fans. This is Sakio Castro Dojo with another figure review. This time on the Marvel Legends uh, San Diego Comic Con 2012 exclusive uh, X Force. As you can see, comes with Wolverine, Psylocke, and Archangel. Wolverine and Archangel. I'll be doing the actual reviews on the single carded figures on this particular video. And of course, the Psylocke doesn't have one except for the Toy Biz model. But uh, essentially, this is a new mold. I think this is the same mold they're using as uh, Hope and probably Mystique. So this figure right here is pretty dope. Uh, the Archangel, you know, there's the artwork for him. Uh, the X-Force Archangel is very dark, has that nice chrome look to it. SDCC exclusive. I know uh, some of you guys out there that didn't get it, hop on it. It's well worth getting the package. Um, you know, I know some of you want to keep it in on, in on card, keep it in the box, but the Uncanny X-Force is a uh, set to open up and to pose and uh, probably do some ACVA. So just want to go ahead and give you some of the artwork look on the box. Um, there's some artwork to the left, to the right, and of course these are the Archangel up top. has the Marvel Universe logo on the front of the box. Let's spin it around. We've got some nice artwork here on the sides. Uh, there's the Archangel. That looks like the regular one, but uh, that's the Archangel. Up top you get some Marvel Universe action. You got Wolverine with the red eyes, Archangel with the red eyes. Let me see if it focuses in a little bit. It's a huge box, so uh, this is not a typical box set. Usually they used to come in two packs. And just single card, and then of course you got Psylocke, uh, Captain Britain's sister, in case you guys didn't know. Um, but yeah, this this is the fall of Archangel, was the story arc that they had in the Marvel Comics, and this is the three, you know, the three uh, characters that were most associated with that storyline. As you know, characters like the Phantom X, you know, Warpath, Deadpool, they've all, you know, Wolfsbane, Domino, they've all been part of X Force, uh, even even uh, Nightcrawler at one point. And of course, the original X Force, led by Cable and his crew, uh, is where the name spawned from. So this is their take on the dark, kind of special ops team for Professor X. They do the dirty work. Here it says, only the boldest heroes can confront the crushing truth to save the world. They must destroy one of their own. So obviously, our change of one berserk. The heir to Apocalypse is unleashed. The darkness erupting from the Archangel spells doom for all mankind. As you know, Archangel, the name itself, is one of the horsemen for Apocalypse. Apocalypse has this, uh, he's got like this woody for death and destruction of the earth and recreating it in his own image. So here's some more, um, I guess, print work on the side of the box, Uncanny X-Force. Now this is, this came out during the beginning in Return of Marvel Legends, so people don't really, they didn't know what to expect. Uh, last year when it was released, it was on the Hasbro toy shop for a little bit, and they sold out immediately. And then they were on eBay. People were scalping them for like you know hundred and something dollars just for the box set. And then of course each figure itself was sold for a lot. When the Marvel Legends announced, or Hasbro announced they were going to release the Marvel Legends um, in a single carded figure for Archangel and Wolverine, the prices came down a little bit. But just keep in mind, uh, there's some of you guys out there that like to keep these things in a box, and you know that's what's worth more. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a box collector. I'm not mint on card. I don't really care about uh, keeping everything new. I like to pose and put my figures up. So that's just me. Uh, every, you guys are different. If you like to keep mint on card, MOC, MOC, then it's up to you guys. But to each his own, and we're, that's why I'm doing these videos so I can unbox it for you. This is what it looks like in the packaging, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the packaging. But overall, I give just the box set itself, the way, the way it sits, MOC, man, it's. It's everything you want it to be. Three cool characters, hard to find box set, San Diego Comic Con exclusive, thumbs up. So let's go ahead and show you the Wolverine. Now this is a single carded Wolverine figure. Um, difference between the previous one that, we, that was in the box set and this one, he's got more of a shiny silver paint on his outfit. Uh, and of course, the claws. This ver Wolverine version of Wolverine has dull claws the version of Wolverine in the box set has chrome claws. So eventually I'm going to go ahead and amalgamate the two so I can only just use one Wolverine. But uh, down here, you can see some artwork, him versus a Sentinel. Uh, this is part of the Hit Monkey series, but this figure does not come with a Hit Monkey build a, build a figure piece. You've got the Sentinel there, he's shredding right through, which is dope artwork. Down below it says, uh, hold on, let me focus it in. 
He uses his super sharp claws and unbreakable animanium skeleton to wage secret war on blah blah blah. Marvel Universe Hasbro logo. Go ahead, let me try to adjust this here. Collect the hit hit figure, hit monkey figure series. I don't know why they came out with the hit monkey. He's not even that popular of a character, but I guess they had to fill the void somewhere. They had Deadpool and needed a friend. Um, eventually, the X Men uh, Wolverine or, or the Wolverine movie. Uh, it's coming out this summer is going to have uh, build a figure pieces of puck so i thought that was a little bit weird but those wolverine figures are coming out astonishing wolverine rogue white queen you know cyclops those are some dope ass figures so having this wolverine is, is is a plus to me you got the archangel over here now this is his classic colors um for those of you i did a review on him for the marvel universe version of him and this is a much beefier figure, still huge wings, big box packaging. Um, the color scheme on this one is phenomenal. I'm not going to touch too much on him if I'm going to just do a review on Archangel, the X-Force version. But the color scheme on this one is a classic Archangel. Um, he's got sharp claws in the picture. He doesn't have sharp claws as a figure. But again, whoever did the artwork, I don't know the name of the signature. Forgive me for being a little bit ignorant on that end, but it's, it's dope. Uh, I'm here for you... Uh, Proof of Purchase Fanatics. Archangel. Again, one of Apocalypse's um, four horsemen. Defected. Warren Worthington III. Um, he's a hard figure to ca find, especially if you're looking in this wave, uh, because everyone seems to scoop him up. There's a lot of Captain America, Wolverine, peg, peg warmers, but the Archangel, he's a hard-to-come-by figure. So let's get him open up. Oh, sorry. Just want to point something else out. And I'm back, folks. I have here X Force unboxed. I'll put them on the Avenger stands, the ones I got from the Marvel Legends. Psylocke, she's a dope looking figure. She has a lot of detail on the booty. <laughs> she comes with her uh, pink Psylocke, you know, plasma energy wave, whatever, telekinesis sword. That she carries around and slices and dices people with. She's essentially a ninja. So as a ninja she carries a katana for some reason. But whatever. It's, I don't know where this sword. I think it was a Deadpool sword. They just redid the color scheme. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the articulation this figure brings. But it has a, a ball socket a elbow and a ball socket shoulder. She's got a ball head, ball joint head. Um, she's got torso articulation, kind of like on a ball joint itself. Uh, ball jointed hips with thigh thigh twist. She's got a uh, no waist articulation, lower waist articulation. She's got a double hinge knee, but it's kind of difficult and very very delicate because she's a very thin figure. So be very very careful with her. But her, the plastic that they use on the figure is a lot better than what Toy Biz used to use, so it's a lot more sturdy. She's got a ball jointed um, ankle, so it rotates, it pivots, you know, has a little rock to the left and right. Um, the paint scheme is cool, you know. They gave her the her classic, you know, outfit. But they didn't go with the uh, black and white or the black and gray um, outfit you'd find from the comic book itself. But it's a good touch, and you can't tell the difference. Or maybe it is gray. I'm colorblind. Oh, it is a gray sash. Forgive me. Instead of the pink sash. Or purple sash. Let's go ahead and show you uh, the Archangel. Archangel, of course, um, this paint scheme is very sought after. I know in the Marvel Universe lineup, uh, it was a digital subscription uh, exclusive. Recently, Hasbro has released it on the Hasbro Toy Shop, and then it sold out like right away. Uh, I did a review on it with X-Force, and I'm just doing the Marvel Legends version. But this is what the wings look like in the back. Um, has the single peg. Uh, it's a very interesting m mechanics to it because it has uh, two connector pieces in the back. So it's almost like a backpack. And, of course, the wings itself have articulation. Uh, the center wings, the larger wings, and the detail on the chrome, you know, really make it authentic to me really give it that uh marvel universe quality uh a lot of times people they sleep on some of these figures and i think hasbro does a really really good job of you know giving you the best of what they can i mean they're not hot toys or anything like that or selects but 
um, the scale they use and, and the type of material they use is always great and I don't have any complaints a lot of guys out there may have some complaints but I think distribution is more of a complaint of anything else he's got the pivot on the wrist he's got the thigh swivel double jointed knee he's got swivel at the calf forgive me for the focus um, he's got that nice pivot I don't know what you call these things ball joint rockers or whatever the fuck you call them but uh, ab crunch and the uh, waist you know he's a well articulated archangel I wish we would have had more of articulation on the Marvel Universe one but he came out early so ball joint and shoulder bicep swivel uh, the usual stuff I like that his head can point up a lot higher for those fly poses you want to put him in so that's a cool thing um, let me go ahead and put this thing on now it's very difficult to get in the stand because he's very back heavy because you know the wings kind of weigh him down so you have to figure out how to balance him so that's the th one thing I'm always having a little bit of trouble with with Archangel. Um, but for the most part, if you have Marvel Legends or Walmart exclusive Avenger or Spider-Man figures, you get these stands. And they don't, I, if the, anyone knows of it, I don't know of any stands that you can get for six inch figures, either DC or M ML. But um, either way, it's cool to have them and pose them like this. Um, try if you can't pose them without it. But here we got Wolverine. Now, Wolverine is kind of an amalgamation of the old Hasbro Marvel Legends and the new Hasbro Marvel Legends and right there in the hips you can see the difference um, and I think the neck the shoulders you know the claws well I don't think I think the claws are new um, but for the most part the difference between the older one and the newer one is going to be the articulation in the, in the hips uh, this is the single carded figure like I told you, I'd go ahead and amalgamate the claws to the right figure. So shiny suit, shiny claws. Uh, dull suit, dull claws. I thought that's how they should have done it. So I think that's what they released. And if you bought two, do this. It's a real simple swap. You know, those claws actually come off. They're not, you know, stationed into his into his arms like the like the older Wolverine figures. Um, I pointed out before the hips are probably the difference. Instead of having the ball jointed. Um, hips. He's got these. I don't know what you'd call them. Y Y hips or yeah, I think they're Y hips. Um, they're not really ball jointed. They have limited movement right at the right at the hip itself, but they have a lot of articulation for the thigh. So if you can see, Psylocke has ball jointed hips, and Wolverine and Archangel do not. So that's the main differences between the older Wolverines and the new Wolverines. Um, they both look phenomenal. It's up to you which one you want to use as a pose, but uh, just like the Marvel Universe lineup, they gave Wolverine a chrome suit as a single-carded figure and a dull suit as the three-pack for MU, so they did the same thing in the Marvel Legends. I like that shoulder articulation right there. And then, of course, he's got the bicep swivel. He's got the double-jointed elbow. He's got the wrist twist with a little bit of movement there, up and down. He's got the ball-jointed upper torso and he's got the waist swivel there's the thigh there's the double jointed knee and of course he's got the same ankles as Archangel so that's another take on the modern Wolverine so uh, you're gonna see a lot of this exact articulation in the new Wolverine movie uh, lineup I think they all have this new articulation so Hasbro's come a long way they took to the best of toy biz they went into a direction where they can add. See, this is an old Hasbro figure, but he fits so well in it. And for some of you guys that don't want to dish the cheese for it, listen, do it. I have a Phantom X somewhere. I got to do a review on him. So hopefully you guys enjoy this figure review. Um, don't forget to subscribe to me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be putting some pictures up. So if you can, um, hit me up. And oh, there's Deadpool. What's he doing there? He's looking for tacos. So. Thanks once again, and I hope you enjoyed this figure review. Give it a big thumbs up, and uh, peace. Peace. Thanks for watching and keeping the community going. Like I said before, follow me on Instagram at Popular, and on Facebook, I'm the Sakio Dojo Castro.